Here with head coach Paul Tortorella, Connor Kelly, and Adam Hauser following Super Region 1 semifinal coach. Start off with an opening statement, then we'll turn it over for some questions. Yeah, first off, I, I'd like to congratulate Ashland. Uh, they played a terrific game. They're a really good team. You know, play here, play there. It could have been a diff different uh, ending. Coach Owens runs a great program. Uh, you know, it, We've had three tough games with them, and we've just been fortunate to come out on top. But uh, they played very hard. Uh, I thought, obviously, we made a couple big plays uh, in the second half. Obviously, the block punt for the touchdown. But uh, we never felt good about it with that quarterback because he's, he's, he's very dangerous with his feet. And then I thought our offense was kind of hot and cold. Uh, we ran the ball well at times, and at other times we didn't. Uh, you know, we had two turnovers, which is in, was, you know, a little bit unlike us. Uh, but uh, uh, the things we talked about is when in the run game, we did do that. Time of possession was huge. Uh, I guess we had the ball for almost 38 minutes, and and it came down to converting third downs. We were nine for 19 on third and fourth down, and and they were four for 15. So, uh, you know, that, that kind of is what it came down to. I mean, the stats are very close. Uh, we made the one play on special teams. I was very concerned going in at halftime after we ran the fake punt and we didn't get anything out of it because we had all the momentum. Uh, we were up 12-7 at that time and we had the fake punt. We had the ball first and 10 on their 30 yard line with all the momentum. Usually after that happens to a defense, it's hard to go back out on the field and play defense. So I got to give Ash some credit that they, you know, they stopped us. But I, I was very concerned coming in at halftime because I thought it was late in the half and if we would at least been able to get a field goal out of it, the wind was really bad. We weren't going to try a field goal unless we were inside the 20 on that end. Uh, we had some problems with a block and a missed extra point. So we went for it on fourth down, but uh, you know, it was late in the half, and I, I really was concerned that we didn't put any points on the board after that fake punt. They, they did a great job defensively to stop us. But uh, proud of our team. Uh, we, we've got a great bunch of players uh, that, that really understand uh, what this is all about. And, uh, you know, really humbled to be their coach. Going to that, that pivotal play with the block punt. Um, so what we were noticing after the first two punts is that they were coming down really hard on uh, Ronye and me. So we we're making sure, hey, if he comes down hard, loop and it'll be open. Um, and it was, and Ronye made a hell of a play. Um, then just got to do the rest, scoop and score. Don't get tackled. score <laughs> I there wasn't much going through my head I was just like balls right there you just gotta go and get it and make a play let's present to you before I need to bring it up what's it like being now on the good side of the block well yeah that's uh that's a good point you know uh we thought we might be able to have a chance uh you know what they do and you got to be concerned about them faking it so it's like you, you know you can't be too aggressive because you got to watch the fake with the quarterback in 2018 they we knew they were going to fake it and they still made it on us uh, with the quarterback so uh, but we thought we had a chance the ball was coming out low and it, it was a perfect I mean he really blocked it I mean it wasn't one of those tip blocks I mean it was he smothered it and the ball was on the ground and it was an easy scoop. It wasn't a bouncing ball and everything. And, and we knew, you know, have, you know, scoop and score there. Even if we fumble it, we still get the ball. Uh, and when they're in that protection, there's nobody else back there if that happens. So, uh, you know, it was fortunate. I mean, we didn't take advantage of the one play, big play we made in the, on, on our punt team. And again, like I said, I, I was very concerned that we, we Left some points out there in the first half, uh, and then get you know two points we lost with uh, our extra points. So, uh, 
you know, in these games, they're such close games against such good people that you always try to have a two-score lead, you know, and uh, t today was a little bit tough, but we did get the two-score lead after the block punt because things change when you get that two-score lead. When it's a one-score game, uh, you know, things can change real quick. So, uh, you know, we had the two-score lead. They came down and they had a great drive on us where they spread the field and the quarterback's really hard to contain uh, and got it to a one-score game. And then our offense did a great job of using a lot of the clock, getting us field position, making first downs. And I believe we gave them the ball with 40 seconds with no timeouts on their own 20-yard line. Again, it was fourth down and it would have been a 42-yard field win to the win, but you know, you, you do that and it gets blocked and they pick it up and run for a touchdown and you lose. So there was no way we were doing that. We were gonna go for it. Uh, probably should have just ran it. Mac thought he saw something and, and they blitzed off the backside and we're lucky we even got the throw off. So, uh, but it was one of those games where, you know, probably the difference in the game was the block punt. Adam, on that last series you guys had, you know, 60 some yards didn't score, but you took it like I've said five and seven and a half minutes. It seemed like the hardest thing to do in football sometimes is run the ball when everybody knows you're gonna run the ball. How did you guys do that? How did you do that? Yeah, you know, in the huddle we were just reminding each other, you know, first downs who's gonna win this the game. So, you know, it's huge credit to our offensive linemen, you know, that unit is incredibly uh, physical, uh, the O line and the tight ends, but um yeah. When we want to run the ball, I think we can do it because we have the guys up front that will allow us to do that. Um, I have a question for Adam. So on the first two drives of the game, you guys scored pretty efficiently. What would you say worked for you guys on those first two drives versus what kind of changed after? Uh, yeah, so on the first two drives, we kind of it was a mix of just run, pass. You know, we were really just moving the ball really quickly. And then, um, you know, after that, you know, there was just some things that weren't doing well in terms of, you know, the running the ball, you know, um, me, myself, you know, my average wasn't very high. So, you know, it's just those chunk plays that weren't there after the first two drives we weren't really getting. So I think that would be the biggest difference is just the chunk plays. Coach, for, uh, you know, on those two scoring drives, you are right there on the goal line, we decided to pass both plays. Mm -hmm. um, you know, what went, went into those decisions? Well, we're big on one-on-one -on -one with our two wide ones. You know, Dwayne's not 100%. But he's still Dwayne, and uh, you know Ridley's the same way. I mean, they're both very skilled receivers, and Mac does a great job when it's one on one out there. And you know, we, when we throw those, we've probably had thirty of those uh, one on ones on the two yard line that we've thrown the ball because they got nine guys in the box to stop the run. I mean, it was like you know the big a point of the game that I forgot about is we stopped Ashland on our three yard line and. We loaded the box there, and they, they brought in a lot of big people, and we planned to run heavy, and they ran it, and we, we stopped them, luckily. Uh, so we, we, we do that a lot. You know, we'll, we'll get in a heavy formation down on the goal line, but if we have one wide out in the game, it's usually one-on-one -on -one with a lot of field to cover. And, uh, you know, it's been very high percentage for us this year. So that to answer your question, it's just a one-on-one -on -one with two skilled receivers. Hilton's, you know, got great size, and Dwayne can really jump. Uh, and he's got great ball skills. So I know when we practice against our offense, we don't even attempt to get in that situation because we know we won't stop the fade ball. And when we do, we don't stop the fade ball. So that that's what we've just been doing all year. You mentioned the stop down there. What went into that, that last play? What was the scheme to go through? Well, They've been very effective when they've gotten in what we call heavy. They have four tight ends in the game, uh, no wide outs, and the running back. And they do throw a little bit off it, but they've been close to 100% running the ball in short yardage and goal line out of that grouping. So our, our answer was the only way we felt like we could stop in the run game is we went to a heavy defense. We made change, we, you know, we went, we took, two defensive backs out, and uh, we actually took three defensive backs out, brought in two D linemen and a lot, two linebackers and a, and a defensive lineman, because we couldn't match up with, with the four tight ends with our base defense. Uh, so, 
you know, we felt like if we played it right, we had a chance to stop them in the run game. And, and we still were ready for, you know, we, it's easier said than done stopping the play action down there, but it wasn't like we were just going to play the run and let a tight end go wide open or a back in the flat. I mean, we were still okay if they threw it, but we were basically banking on saying it's fourth and one. We practiced it all week. They're going to run it. And we got to stop it. And uh, we did. Did it play out exactly? Yeah, I mean, they, 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 at first they they uh, they didn't bring the big, they, they brought the big people on a little later than, you know, they waited. And then right away, we got time to substitute, obviously. We went right to our, our hog package, is what we call it. We, we haven't done it, you know, I don't know. I, I don't know if we've run it this year, you know, that defense. But the only way we were to stop them in that personnel group was to get bigger bodies on the field. And uh, and we're beat up a little on defense up front. You know, a couple of down guys that, you know, didn't play today. Uh, so we had to manufacture, get another lineman in, bring two bigger linebackers in, and uh, we did a good job. You know, Holmes made a nice play. Yeah, I mean, he's all he is. Holmes is a guy that has come on the second half of the season, and when his opportunity arises, we got him doing a lot of different things, playing defensive end and nickel. He's playing some linebacker. He's in the hog package. Uh, you know, he's he's starting to play. He, he's got a lot of talent. He just didn't have much experience. And uh, you know, he's he's when he's played in games, he's played well here in the second half of the year. Now you got Shepard. Right. Um, Ready for rain? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't I don't know if we have that much influence on it, but uh, you know, they're a great team. You know, Badgett's a great player. Uh, it'll be a big t task for us to beat them again. You know, it's always hard to beat the team two times in the a season. Ashland did that against Notre Dame, which was credit to them. It's not easy to do. You know, as we said after the game, when we beat Shepard two weeks ago, we kind of thought, like, if we held court, they'd hold court and we'd see each other again. So. Uh, you know, it's nice to be playing them here. Uh, they're really good no matter where they play, but they're very good at home. So uh, I think it's played out. This, put it this way, it's, it's, we're not shocked that we're playing Shepard. At this point, I mean, based on today, there's not much style points now, right? I mean, it's just about the end. No, I mean, in the NCAA basketball, it's survive and advance. We, we look at it a little bit differently, but the end of that statement, you just got to advance. You know, we talked at the beginning of it, you know, we had a bye and, you know, we were one of four that had a bye. And that when we started to play, which would today have been there were 16 teams left. If we win, like I said, in the locker room after the game, now we're one of eight. And we just got to do uh, everything day by day till next Saturday to help us get it down to, you know, to be one of four. That was our main focus was stopping the run, trying to make it one dimensional. Because um, they are a very good run team. They got two great backs. They got a good running quarterback who makes plays, makes guys miss, everything. So, focus was just try to load the box, kind of um, make them one dimensional. Um, 